Here in Pakistan, people are being winched to safety during floods, one of the country's worst ever natural disasters, killing at least 1,500 and affecting around 14 million. Survivors began observing the Muslim festival of Ramadan. Instead of the usual celebrations, it's filled with misery and fears of an uncertain future. Soldiers battle against the damage caused by mudslides in China. Thunderstorms brought fresh misery to the northwestern region as the death toll from weekend flooding and landslides rose to 1,117. Meanwhile, Russian authorities are struggling to cope with unprecedented high temperatures that sparked forest fires on a scale barely recognizable there. 562 fires covering over 200,000 acres are still burning. These cases of extreme weather are not isolated, according to the Washington-based National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Climate expert Tom Carl says the first seven months of this year saw the highest global temperatures since weather records began in 1880. Russia and Central Asia this year happened to be the epicenter of some very warm conditions this summer. To accompany those warm conditions, um, we're seeing very heavy precipitation in the monsoon areas in, in Pakistan. Um, these events are not um, disconnected. The climate system is connected. According to scientists, the floods, fires and feverish heat aren't a warning of climate change, but in fact a sign it's already happening. The key here is that trying to look at the patterns of changes and the seasonality of changes we try to put that all together and, and understand what might, causing, might be causing the changes. We walk away with, you know, if you were a betting person, you know, 19 chances out of 20, uh, humans are having a major impact on why we're seeing these records. The World Climate Research Program is due to meet next month in Paris to discuss better ways of forecasting extreme weather. However, that will be little comfort to those currently enduring the effects of the worst weather nature can impose. Ilsa Temple, The Associated Press.